What's up guys? How's it going? We're starting off this episode just in the middle of a firefight. Which might seem a bit crazy and hectic, and honestly it is. Um, but we left off in the last one in what looks like um, a gunner base. And gunners, as far as I can tell from what I've heard of the story and all that, um, gunners are just like mercenaries that are like well armed and better equipped and better at combat than like your standard raiders, but they essentially are just like mercenary raiders who fight for hire. Just a step above raiders, really. A little bit more organized, though. Um, but yeah, we're in the middle of a gunner base and we're looking for a Corsair. That's what I'm calling it. It's not, you know, probably the correct way to pronounce uh, the name, but this guy, Corsair. And um, we're looking for him so that we can get into the Institute. Oh no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Um, and if we kill this thing, apparently, that's going to get us a one way to take it into the Institute, which sounds awesome. And I am very frozen and very slow right now. The, uh, the freeze... That must have been like a freeze mine. Those freeze mines are annoying. Take a test tube rack, whatever that does. I'm sure it has some useful crafting ingredients associated with it. Nothing shooting at me right now. Take some cram. I'm just looting stuff right now. But I have been going through a lot of food, so I don't necessarily have, like, a ton left over. Hello. I'm sorry you lost your arms. That, I, could, I can feel for you there. I've had that happen before. Well, I've had them, the arms crippled at least, at the very least, so. 10 millimeter. Uh, some more gunners. Shot her in the face. Back off, dude. Back off. There we go. Oh, shoot. At least these guys are just coming at me with batons. Haven't you ever heard never bring a freaking police baton to a laser pistol fight? You know, it's just, it's not going to end well for you. We'll use VATS because I don't use VATS very often. And I'm not going to lie, VATS is very effective. I'm not a huge fan of using VATS just because, um, well, it's more fun to go FPS mode than, you know, like, freezing time RPG mode, in my opinion, but they're both, they both have their pros and cons. Oh, two Nuka Cherries, that's really good. That's really, oh, shoot, you're just getting right down to business. Okay, we're going to want to stim pack up here because I got crippled. Not sure. Oh, a missile launcher. Wow. That's probably what crippled me. I'm not sure why you'd use a police baton when you have a missile launcher. Like, there's just... Your priority list is a little bit screwy. I'm not going to lie. Um, This is not the correct way to be going. I'm just looking for ammo in all the wrong places. Oh, buff out, though. That's good. Missiles, a stealth boy. Yeah, see, this is why I come back and loot. I try not to do too much looting. I'm not gonna lie, when I play by myself, I'm a looting addict. Like, I just, I loot everything. I, I'm not gonna lie, I completely ignore firefights. Just to, like, go and loot stuff. It's ridiculous. It makes no logical sense. Camera that contains valuable crafting materials. I mostly, I don't really care too much about, you know, building structures and stuff for my base. It's more um, gun mods. So I'm looking for stuff that um, potentially would help out with gun mods. Oh, shoot. What kind of gun were you using? 10mm auto. Ha. I'm getting a lot of these fusion cells, though, so we're going to be able to use our laser pistol at some point here. Oh, I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Thank you. Gonna have to heal him once again. I'm just gonna pop another quantum. We're just gonna be popping quantums for a little bit here. Because I don't have a whole lot, lot else. That's another thing that we need to maybe spend some time looking for is, is food. Not just, uh... Okay. It looks like they're probably fighting the, the Courser. And they did say Courser, so apparently that is the right way to say it. A hacksaw. 
running a little bit low on the 10 millimeter ammo, so we're gonna have to switch to another gun. Yet again, another gun fairly soon. Ammo is just a constant struggle. I'm gr glad I saw that grenade trap because that would have sucked. We got a free grenade out of it. Can never argue with that. Are there any fools in here? I wonder who the girl is. I oh hey what's up? Sorry, just crashing your you know your little thing here, your shindig. Just disarm that laser trap because we don't want that to be happening. I think microscopes have some like good crafting materials associated with them. Hello. A gunner conscript? Why is this guy like stronger than the regular gunners? He's just a conscript. What's up with that? I don't know if he was actually stronger, just kinda of felt like it. A lot of these uh, normal gunners are going down very easily. Yo, chill out. Okay, we got a couple gunners here who are a little bit over eager on just, you know, taking shots at me. You're done, son? Oh, Stimpak, thank you. I appreciate it. Every Stimpak you donate to the Heal Monkle Zunky Fund is appreciated quite a bit. Is there anything interesting here? We have a Braxo Cleaner, which I don't think is edible. I hope that's not edible. So, nothing edible at least. Okay, I guess this is our destination. Let's go up. Go on up. I believe these elevators are in place to, like, mask loading screens. I believe that's why there's so many of them. Which I appreciate. It's better than a loading screen. Believe me, this, this game has a lot of... This seems like a good time to quick save. This game has a lot of loading screens. Do not get me wrong. Um, and it's my fault why this game takes so dang long to load is because... Uh, stay away from me! I don't know if there's anything bad that happens if you get seen in the spotlight. I was just trying to avoid it. Um, but if you get a decent solid state drive, you know, the loading screens aren't that bad. I just... I'm cheap and I don't want to invest in one, honestly, so... Let's go. You don't know the password? Oh no. Let's rescue the gunner. So the Corsair wants the password to what though? No Nuka Cola? It's a shame. There's a lot of Nuka Cola machines in the world that just straight up don't have any Nuka Cola in them. Hey, let's let's talk about this. Are you here for the sin? Yes. Yeah, I'm here to help the sin. And you think I'll just hand her over? Do you? You've been tracking me. What do you really want? I wonder if there's possibly a way to just convince him. Use persuasion where we don't even have to fight. I really doubt it. Nope, there's not. Okay. <laughs> that answers that question. All right, fool. Oh, he's invisible, so I can't use vats. It's like they did this on purpose. Nick, what are you doing? You're like doing ninja flips and stuff. So I can just barely see this guy. Like, you see how much damage my pistol is doing. It's doing a lot. I just, I can barely see him. Okay, quick, while he's visible. Oh, he's like kicking. This is the weirdest position I've ever shot a man in. Okay, that honestly wasn't that bad. Nick is just a tank. Wow, that was insane. All right, we got ourselves a Corsair chip and an achievement. Nice. Um, I'll take the Corsair uniform. We'll, we'll see how much damage resistance it gives. 30. Uh, so Kellogg's outfit is better in everything other than rad resistance. Which is probably the um, the one thing, the, the least desirable thing out of armor. It depends, I guess. Alright, so these guys, I'm going to just set them free, I guess. Who's K1? I'm not going to kill you, don't worry. 
Uh, someone else talked, like some K1 guy. So I'm guessing uh, one of the gunners was probably a synth. And maybe that's why he's here. There's another fat man. I'm not going to take it just because it, it weighs a ton. We'll see if this pipe rifle is any good because it would be awesome if there was just like a pipe rifle I could use to shoot some of these 38 rounds. It didn't suck, but no, it's not very good. Alright, quick save before a terminal. That's just uh, what you do when you play Fallout 4 on PC. Yeah. And that is why. Well, we'll try it once. Sometimes I've had these things work on the second try. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a very common glitch where if you use a terminal, it won't let you move afterwards. Ah, got it on the second try. Not bad. Alright, so that one went okay. But sometimes I've had those take like seven or eight attempts before it'll actually let you move after you use a character or a terminal. So you gotta be a little bit wary. As long as you quick save in front of every terminal, it's okay. But sometimes it can lead to unpleasantness. Oh my goodness. It is very bright out here. Wow. You got anything to say about that, Nick? No? Can we fast travel from up here? Ah, looks like we can. Sweet. Okay, back to Good Neighbor we go. I guess we're going back to that brain surgeon lady. Why we need to go see her, I don't know. I thought we were supposed to, you know, go back to our, uh, our new friend Virgil. I guess not, though. Okay, we're back in Good Neighbor, and one thing, um, if you remember a few episodes ago when we first entered Good Neighbor, this Finn guy was hassling us. Now, what happened is I ran away because I was like, I don't have time for this mess, and I just, you know, went on to our quest objective. But, um, Hancock, who is the mayor of this town, he just straight up knifes this dude in the stomach, um, if you stick around and watch for long enough. So I guess, uh, he's still hanging out here just to let us know about what he did. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel you. I feel you. Good. Sweet. You stay cool. And we'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember. Charge. So yeah, you don't want to mess with Hancock, essentially. Um, also, Hancock is a potential follower. How you get him as a follower? I don't know. Um, but... There are ways to do it, so if you want him to follow you around, I, I'm a fan of Nick. I think Nick's pretty cool, though, so we're just going to stick with Nick. But if you want Hancock to follow you around instead, um, go talk to him, I guess. And You might have to do like a short side quest or something. I wouldn't be surprised. That's normally how these follower things go. Do a side quest, and then they'll follow you around. All right, we're heading back to uh, Dr. Mari. Everything happened. I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Corsair chip. A Corsair chip? You fought a Corsair? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Corsair. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well... They're the only ones I know that even have a chance of cracking Institute security. They're called the Railroad. Okay, I know about the Railroad. Also, saying I fought a Corsair is a little bit generous. It's more like Nick fought a Corsair, and I, you know, helped him out with supporting fire every once in a while. Thanks, Doc. How do I find them? I can't contact them directly. They usually come to me when they have a synth that's escaped the Institute and wants new memories. But I do have a code phrase. Some kind of clue if I ever needed to find them on my own. Follow the freedom trail. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Well, she wasn't very helpful. But uh, thankfully I do know where to go. Wow. This guy just, he's enjoying himself, looks like, thoroughly. Okay, so on my off-screen character that I've mentioned a few times, I have tried to stay away from the main quest. Um, I'm still, like, I'm way farther ahead in the main quest on the character you see now than on my off-screen character. But I have put in, like, 20 hours in the off-screen character, and um, I do know a few things, including about this railroad. I'll try not to spoil anything, though. Anyway, we'll head to Park Street Station, 
and we're going to be following the Freedom Trail, and hopefully that will lead us to the railroad. And what the railroad is, well, we're going to find out hopefully in this episode. I'm not sure how long it takes to get to them. It might take a little while, so it might even be next episode, but um, we'll eventually get there is the point. Why we need to see them, I'm not sure. I guess because they know more about um, synth technology than Dr. Amari does or than Virgil does. All right, so we're here at the start of the Freedom Trail. One other interesting thing is um, right here ahead of us is Swan's Pond. There is a very strong creature. I don't know if he's a super mutant. I want to say super mutant, but um, whether he's a super mutant or not, I'm just I'm not completely sure. But his name is Swan, and if you kill him, he drops a pretty awesome melee weapon. So, okay, here we go. This is the start of the Freedom Trail, as you can see by this sign. And here's a tour bot, which uh, probably has been here for 200 years and somehow hasn't been killed or looted by raiders yet. Alright, looks like the tour bot let us know where to go, so this is either the start or the end of the Freedom Trail. Which one it is isn't, um, isn't terribly important. But uh, what we want to do is we just want to follow this trail for a while. And I'm kind of cheating, but the trail does continue off on this way. It loops back on itself after a while, so we're just going to run this way. And here's another marker. Um, so here is apparently a, uh, a famous site. And also, all these markers are going to, like, if you read all of them, like, number one said R, number two is A, uh, number three I think is I, and then number four is L, and it kind of continues on like that. So, um, I believe there's eight markers in total, and they, like, spell out a security passcode that you will need when you reach the end of the Freedom Trail, so, um, that's kind of important, I guess, normally. Also, there's going to be a lot of super mutants. Uh, we're in Boston Common right now, and Boston Common is heavily populated by super mutants. So, you're going to have to fight a lot of them. Um, I believe the trail continues on in this direction. Um, it's usually, like, covered up by debris and stuff. Yeah, like, for example, 6 and O. Oh. So, yeah, we've passed over um, a couple of these markers, but it's okay, because I already know the passcode. So, we'll live. But, uh, yeah, you... If it was your first time, for example, you'd want to read all of those and make sure you know what's going on. Also getting a little bit framey here, so hopefully that works itself out. My accuracy is so bad. There we go. This laser pistol, though, is, is such a big upgrade. And we're burning through ammo quite fast, so it's not like I'm going to be able to use it for that long. But it is really such a big upgrade over the um, pipe pistols that we have been using. And there's Good Neighbor. So I guess if you wanted to, you could have just started at Good Neighbor and you're like halfway along the trail already, so maybe we should have done that, but oh well. And through here, you can't see the trail at all, but it is underneath all this stuff. Oh my gosh, the frames are just not working. Um, I believe we're coming up into a raider camp. Yeah, there's a dead raider, and unfortunately there's also going to be raiders that are not quite as dead that we're going to be coming up into um, fairly soon. Or maybe not. Actually, we can just completely avoid that raider encampment if you want to. There's some feral ghouls we have to deal with, but at this point in the game, the feral ghouls aren't really much of a threat. Even if you're like level 1 using the starting weapons, they're, they're still not that much of a threat. They're some of the weaker enemies in game. Free stim packs. I'm always a fan of that. Coffee cup is good because that has ceramic, I think. Um, fairly decent crafting material. Dandy boy apples. Oh, there's food up here. This is beautiful. I never even like realized um, this little spot here has food. These are all empty. 
I think if you use empty milk bottles in a milk vending machine, then you get full milk bottles. And so if you want some milk, that's what you do. So we have to head through here. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of like meat bags and stuff. And meat bags, typically, what that um, translates into is super mutants live here. So. And they're dogs. They're mutant hounds. But this is a laser pistol, like, compared to the pipe pistols that we have been uh, forced to live with are just, like, making short work of these fools. Fain you will haul. Also, there's, like, a super mutant skirmisher up here? Yeah. He's just a regular super mutant. Here's the skirmisher. Um, but, yeah, there's a dude up there with a missile launcher, so watch out for him. Because he's, he's fairly dangerous. Okay, we'll take out that guy. All in all, they're not terribly difficult. Uh, sniper rifle. I don't know about that. I'm more of like a get up close and personal and take guys out sort of person. So there are more super... Oh, there's quite a few super mutants back here. So watch out for them. That guy was a suicider. Those suiciders do a lot of damage if you let them get close to you. They also dropped nuclear material. Oh, it looks like he killed his buddies for us. That's awesome. Thank you, man. I'm sure that wasn't his intention, but uh, he ended up being a lot more helpful than harmful. Light bulbs are good. I just want to go loot some of these guys up on the scaffolding because one of them had a missile launcher, so he's going to have some missiles, which uh, sell for a decent amount. There we go. Oh, we leveled up as well. Cool. I didn't even realize that. Oh, it's probably a while ago, because we're already almost halfway through level 12. So, what's something we want to get? Um, local leader level 2 is good. Oh, we need level 19 for inspiration to level 2, so we're going to have to hold off on that. Uh, gun nut level 2, we can get that next. But that allows us access to rank 2 gun mods, so that would be nice. Um, scrapper would be good, because we could scrap really terrible guns. We'll get intelligence up and then we might want to get this um, scrapper thing because a lot of really rare crafting materials you can gain by scrapping um, bad guns that don't sell for a lot and that you're not going to use anyway so we might want to work on that. A couple chems, not too bad. Alright, so I completely lost the freedom trail but it looks like we found it again. I'm honestly not sure yeah, it's going this way, it looks like. So, through here. Yeah, okay, Freedom Trail. We picked it up, and I think we're almost at the end. Um, as far as I can remember, that encounter with the Super Mutants is the, the worst encounter that you have. Wow, I probably need to restart my PC after this. Okay. Is this this is number eight? Eight D. So all of that spelled out, essentially spelled out a uh, a passcode. A few more super mutants. I forgot about these fools. Nick, take them out for me. All right. It just looks like a couple of hounds and um, a regular old super mutant. So nothing that that dangerous here. Oh my gosh, I completely vaporized him. That's awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's just head into what should be, yeah, the Old North Church. So this is our, our final destination here. So let's head in. All right, we're in the Old North Church. Um, even though it is a church and like a, a place of sanctuary, you would, you would think we're still going to have, we're not going to be completely safe here. There's still going to be some ghouls. Because you just you can't go anywhere without um without running into ghouls. It seems like for the most part. Bottle caps, some extra 10 millimeter rounds. I'm always a fan of that. Oh man, this guy looks like he's in a bad way. So we're just looking for the uh, the railroad, which hopefully should be somewhere down here, right? You would think. It does get pretty spooky as we get into this basement. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, duct tape. Nice. That's adhesive. Adhesive is something that you want. Just trust me on this. 
Okay, we killed one feral ghoul. It looks like there's another enemy of some kind up ahead. Hello. Just a regular old feral ghoul. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really not threatened by you. But very, very spooky down here. That's kind of like the, the main theme of this basement. And oh look, a sign on the ground and also the Freedom Trail Ring. So, what do we do with this thing? Well, I'm going to leave you guys with a cliffhanger here and we'll say, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to try to like, I don't know, clean up my PC or something so we don't have all these uh, frame issues in the next episode. But um, yeah. See you, see you guys next time, and we will uh, hopefully be discovering the railroad. Farewell.